Let's talk about how to create connection without losing your expert influence. Hey, everybody, this is Ali Craig for International Society of Impression Managers. And on this week's episode of Hashtag Influence, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Now, Hashtag Influence is a weekly vlog series where we like to give you real world advice on how to actually use you, your nonverbal communication, to your advantage. And today we're talking about how to create connections without losing your expert influence. So if you're in person, the easiest way to do this is, well, connections is all about closeness, online or offline. Now, if we're talking about the online or the offline world, so AKA the real world, then you gotta get close to the people. You gotta remove the blocks between you and them and you always have to you know, be the position of authority. So this can look a couple of different ways. The position of authority isn't being adversarial one in front of the other. So influence, kind of catty corner, but you want to be the taller person. And if by chance you're just not naturally taller in stature, then you want to be the one who's the head of the person. So the closest to the stage, if you're standing up, um, maybe the head of the table, the table square. And if by chance you're all sitting at a table, then stand up and still talk to everybody and connect with them, put your hand on the back of their chair or something like that. But by being in that actual higher position, then guess what? You're actually in influence because that's how our brains still work, guys. Biology at play, right? Now, online, when you're doing maybe a strategy call or something like that, or you're trying to connect with them just via chat, the way that you create connection is through creating stories. So you have to share your story. You have to be engaged in them and hear about their stories and relate to them. Just like two girlfriends chatting or maybe boyfriends chatting. Um, you have to actually create that connection through stories and through life. So how do you show your expert status through the story? You're always using stories about, oh my gosh, I can totally relate to you on that. You know, I had this client. She's just like you. This is how I helped her. Shows your expert status, keeps your influence, and keeps the connection going all at the same time.